Hello, this is Bruce Ackley from The Ohio State University, and in this presentation I will be talking about growth regulators. This is one in a series of talks discussing the mode of action side of action identification chart that was developed as part of the Take Action Herbicide Resistant Management Program. This presentation will be covering the mode of action growth regulators. This mode of action includes group 4 and 19 side of actions, also known as the T1, R1 auxin receptors and the auxin transport inhibitors, respectively. Currently 10 different wheat species are resistant to these site of actions. Uh, these site of actions contain four different chemical families, a number of active ingredients, and a larger number of products that correspond to those active ingredients. The take home from this chart is if you can, you can be spraying any of these products, but you're actually only spraying from these two sites of action or one mode of action, which in theory can increase the chances of developing herbicide resistant weeds. Now to reinforce the idea and look at it slightly differently, one mode of action, two sites of action, four herbicide families, and an exponential number of active ingredients all within these two sites of action and one mode of action. The common name or active ingredient name is universal. The trade names and premixes have a lot of variation. Always know what you are spraying. Premixes are products or trade names with multiple active ingredients. Know all the active ingredients in your premixes and which active ingredients are providing control on your target weed populations. How does a growth regulator kill a weed? So they're generally post-emergent products. Uh, they're translocated to the growing point, and new growth is the injured first. Uh, the selectivity broad leaves controlled. They can injure grasses and seedlings or seedlings in the or grasses in the reproductive stage. Uh, inhibition or damage cause epinasty, the downward twisting or abnormal leaf and stem growth, which will eventually lead to the death of the overall plant. So, a lot of cool injury symptoms: uh, the puckering, the cupping, the callus look, the leaf strapping and just the general epinasty. So this is presentation number four out of eleven in the mode of action, site of action series uh, when it comes to the identification chart discussion. Uh, visit the first link for more information on site of action education. Uh, visit the second to view time-lapse photography movies of herbicide injury on plants and other educational weed science videos. Thank you for watching and listening and thank you to our sponsors for supporting this project.